Crown 4's Vern Glenn spoke to one Bay Area woman who got skinny by song. Now, how many of you can relate to this? 30% of Americans make a New Year's resolution to lose weight. All about half of them lose is motivation. Heidi Roizen couldn't let that happen. The Peninsula Venture capitalist went out and created her own motivation. Music. Skinny Songs is not your old trainer's workout music. These are 10 top 40 hit type tunes arranged by Grammy Award winning producers. But all songs were written by Roizen the driving force behind the project. CBS This Morning jumped on board. So did Martha Stewart. This all started one fateful morning when upon stepping on a weigh scale, Roizen uttered the words, Oh my God, I weigh more than my husband. Music can be a powerful motivating force. We see athletes use it before games all the time. A study last year showed that those who listen to music lost twice as much weight as those who didn't. The message behind Skinny Songs is you gotta take charge of your life. And if you want something, it's up to you to do it. More with Heidi and her Skinny Songs later on. Meantime, as I work out, it's gonna be a while before I fit into some skinny jeans. That's why I'm enjoying my newest best friend. Spandex. In Woodside, Vern Glenn, Cron 4 News. Okay, she's a successful Silicon Valley venture capitalist, a former Apple executive, but that's not why Heidi Rosen is here. She's taken a personal experience and she's turned it into a gold of a different sort. 50 million Americans are trying to lose weight this year. Well, Heidi fought that battle, but she knocked the pounds off, as you saw uh, from Vernon Glenn, exercising to her own set of skinny songs. Chick Empowerment Music, says Rosen, a disc of 10 songs that she wrote, collaborating with musicians to produce a CD that's on sale on iTunes and her website. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Normally, we'd be reading about you wheeling and dealing in the tech <laughs> world. What a 180 degree turn for you. You. Yeah, pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah, but, but how a fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So you, and it all started with the 197 pounds that you suddenly found yourself yeah, carrying. Yeah, well, it's one of those <laughs> moments, you know, all-time highs are good in venture capital, but not in weight. And yeah. so I, I hit the scale one morning, and it was a scary number, and I thought, I have got to do something about this. And I got in the car that morning, and I was really thinking about it, and the CD player came on, and I thought, there has got to be some great music that would motivate me, that would really speak to me about my issues in a positive way and say, hey, you know, take charge of your life and do something about this. And there, there's a, a great outcome for you if you do. Mm -hmm. And I went looking for it and I couldn't find anything. So see a need and fill it and yeah, well, that's yeah, what we did. You did find it, didn't you? I, I heard a car, an exercise specialist say that you had to do cardio four or five times a week and I'm going, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so why didn't you just hire a personal trainer well, to do this I, for you? You know, I think like, like many women, you know, busy life, kids, career, and you always put yourself last. Mm -hmm. And episodically, you'll decide, oh, I think I'll lose some weight, and you'd spend a week doing it, and then, you know, something mm -hmm. happens, and you go back to your old evil ways. Right. And so I realized I had to make a change, a lifestyle change that was going to really carry me for the rest of my life. And I think that's where the music really comes in, is it's something that can motivate you at any time. Um, there's a lot of workout music you can listen to when you're in the gym. This is something you can listen to in the car so that you'll actually go to the gym yeah. or that you won't grab that handful of M&Ms when you get to your office. You know, it's motivating at any time. Mm -hmm. So you wrote the lyrics, you found the music producer in Nashville, you invested several hundred thousand dollars and you came up with skinny songs. With skinny songs, yeah. <laughs> can you see this? <laughs> there you go. Skinny songs. I like the yes. picture too. That, that's you. telling, isn't Thank it? That you. says a lot for you and yeah. I guess for a lot of women. Yes, absolutely. We've all got that pair of skinny jeans in the back of the closet mm -hmm. that we just love. We keep to zip promising up again. we're going to get back into. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can't get rid of them, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can't get rid of them, let's try to get into them again. 
So unfortunately, we're technically challenged, so I'm going to ask you not to sing. <laughs> no, no Why singing. don't you give us a few words of, of the lyrics, I'm a hottie. Do you remember that? I'm a hottie now. I'm a hottie now. I wrote that song because I wanted it to be kind of the musical equivalent of a before and after picture. So um, in the song, the, the woman realizes that she's, she's just not happy with who she is, and she says, I, I want to get in shape. So she says, uh, now I hit the clothing store, no plus sizes anymore. I love them especially when they're colorful and gaudy because now I'm a hottie. So I just love that because I know the, the, the wardrobe of the, of the woman who's put on a few pounds, as, as I had for many years, is always 100% black. Mm -hmm. And, you know, its colors are frightening, but it's really exciting when you can walk into that store and try on, like, a red dress and feel good about it. So, Well, is the success for you in the doing the process? Is it dropping your own weight, or is it a business venture that drives you? You know, for me, it was, it was all things coming together, which is what made it really fun mm -hmm. and exciting for me it was I needed to lose weight and I needed to get in shape and I'm, I'm turning 50 in a few weeks and that was oh, you know looking great. that was wow. that was you know that was one of those milestones and I think a lot of women have that you hit them uh, getting ready for a milestone and you say I'm gonna do something about this working on the music was of course a, a wonderful creative process both with David Malloy in Nashville and George Daly of about records here in, in the Bay Area another um, Silicon Valley type entrepreneur but mm -hmm. in the music industry and it all kind of worked together. It's a great, it's been a lot of fun, but it is also a business venture. You know, taking it very seriously as a business venture, I think it is. it has the opportunity to be a hit. I think both musically and also it, as a, you know, if you will, as a, a weight loss product, as something that can really help people. So did it go up on iTunes already? Uh, has anybody downloaded it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're really? on iTunes. We're on Amazon. And, okay. you know, on our website, skinnysongs.com, we have not only the music, but we have a great line of really fun T-shirts that go along with it. Here's um, one. Here's one. We have one. Here, let's see. We'll put it up here and see if, there you go. Know can you see, you see that? The Incredible cool. Shrinking Woman, which is also the name of a song. Uh, we have another fun That's one that people love. It just says, do not feed across the shirt. We, <laughs> we laugh about that one. But oh, it's and a, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, guys. But we're, <laughs> yeah, there we're, it is. we're fighting each other. The incredible but there you go. Woman. I like this with the side sleeves because, you know, yeah. these are great. But most women say, oh, I'm wearing those without the, with yeah. these arms, right? Well, we so. have them also in big T-shirt sizes <laughs> and all sorts of different varieties. You yeah, know. but that's the test is to be able to, get, right. to, be able to uh, show your arms, That's right? right. That's right. Well, it sounds like great fun. It really yeah. is, and it's, it's the, the most rewarding thing is I'm hearing from women every day who send me emails and say, I heard about your music, I got it, I listened to it, and it motivated me. It got me out of bed in the morning. It got me to do something. It got me to walk a few extra blocks, you know, park my car at the back end of the mall instead of the front end of the mall. And I'm just getting all this, this really great... Um, communication from other people who are it's starting to work for them too but and you probably got to have a second one in the making because after you know listening to skinny songs for a little bit you're gonna want some more you're gonna right? want some more I've, <laughs> I've certainly heard from people who've said gee it would be great if, if these were oriented more towards kids I've heard some people say that you know there's a whole range of musical style on here there's some hip-hop there's some country there's some rock oh. and I've heard people say you know would you do a CD that's like all country or would you do one that's all hip-hop and okay, so, so you have plenty of ideas. Lots more. Lots <laughs> Very more. good. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, he Heidi Resin. It's been great fun, and this sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, folks, you'll have to go get the CD, iTunes, uh, skinnysongs.com if you want to find out more. Thank thanks you. a lot. Good Thank to have you. Thank you so much. All right. Heidi, I have a quick come? question for you oh, before okay. we, before we yes. get back. Uh, give us a sense of the state of the music industry now that you've had to work work at it with, as a rookie. <laughs> well, you know what? Creativity is alive and well in the music industry. I mean, it is just, there are so many talented people and to put on something like this, I mean, there were probably 50 people involved in getting, in getting this done. Mm -hmm. And what's really also interesting about the music industry is even a, a little guy like me can get started, pull a team together, and get the product up on Amazon, get onto iTunes, and and get to the public. So I find it really, it's, it's very liberating and it's really exciting to be entering the music industry in a time of change because it's, a, it's an opportunity. Right, well it's sort of like anybody who can, can. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you just, you, Lord. And I always say the, the hardest part is just getting people to hear it. I think once they hear it, they get excited about it, yeah. but that's always the challenge. Yeah. So okay. it's great to have this well, opportunity. Good. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. All right. All right.